All right, welcome to a Groovy Kiwi production. This is your average rhyme. I'm playing this game right here, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. It's a fun little game if you haven't played it. it used to be out on the uh, on the GameCube. I'm not sure if it was a PlayStation game as well. I feel like it was, but uh, I played it when I was younger. Had a lot of fun, and uh, I'm gonna try to give it a shot here because I saw Nick playing Spyro, and I was like, well. Nick played that when he was young, might as well, might as well try to, try to capture my nostalgia too. But unlike Nick, I don't remember my nostalgia game. Uh, so this will be kind of fun, it will be a fun experience. If this were Pokemon, I would definitely know pretty much everything that was going to happen. Because I, I played that over and over and over and over. Okay, new game. Save successful. Caution. The okay, Tasmanian Tiger uses an autosave feature. Great. This icon will show up when it's being autosaved. Do not turn it off. Press enter to continue. Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. G'day, mate! It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Challenge Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom? Dad? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. 
It's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? Oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... And that's when you showed up. Rude! Sounds like you've got a fair deacon adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what, you do the adventuring and I'll help you out where I can. Okay. Well. Just uh, Welcome to story, Rainbow I did not Cliffs, ever beat this game. By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. Okay, now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're going to be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. You... And I know just the place to find one. <laughs> Head down to Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there. Great. Going to Bly Bly Station. Gotta remember how to, how to do this, but it's also on, I'm playing on PC. And I've never... I don't play too many games on PC. Oh, shit. Well, I dropped this camera angle. Okay. G'day, Julius. It's not Julius. Now, if I, I just reroute these wires to. I said g'day, mate. I is deaf. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. G'day. So, mm -hmm. you old coot. <laughs> What's this contraption do? <laughs> This contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talismans. Huh? Mm, like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Struck me lucky! And that, my friends, requires a great deal of energy. So, uh, how is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? Eh, hey, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. I've created these portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Of course, they won't just be lying all over the place. Just a lot. For egg heart, a lot of them will have already Easter been found. Themed. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. Righto, Ty. There's no point in mucking about. In mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. In two up. Okay. All right. Don't really let me turn the camera on while I'm running. That's weird. Guess I can't go in here. I throw this boomerang. Sorry if you can hear me uh, clicking on my, my uh, keyboard. I haven't fully. It's been a while since I've played with my microphone. I'm using a Yeti microphone, <clears throat> and it's it picks up everything. I got a little sock over it right now to try to buffer some stuff, but I'm not sure if it's working or not. 
This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. A koala? There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. Yes, that's a little tutorial. Listen, mate, I solved your problem. I found you a second boomerang. That's great. Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah. Well, it's not there. Right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. Oh, great. Oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Great. Look, mate, life wasn't meant to be easy. Get out of here. What do I jump? Okay. Good job. Oh, gotta go up here. Alright, guys, I'm not good at video games. I'm just gonna. Daddy, butler, bonza! I got one! Yeah, yeah, yeah. One down, 71 to go. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> Okay. Just gonna hop down here now, I guess. Great. I reckon those dunnies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny. Which was the best place to be, given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum. But if you ask me, I think it's a load of bull dust. So, you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these? Something like that. Alright. My daughter is also running around, so she might, at some point, bust in here doing a cutscene, and if that's the case, then there's nothing I can do about it, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna hear it. <laughs> Truth time! You've got a fair set of choppers on you! I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. <laughs> Get it? Stop us. Bite button. <laughs> Never mind, Ty. Move on. Have a go at those crates. The bite button. You can bite enemies at. The... So I gotta press those keys together. You can bite enemies yeah. and other things by pressing the bite button. Right. You can bite. Oh my god. I don't know what the R and B button is. You can bite enemies and other things by pressing the bite button. There's... Right. The bite button, which is R and B. What is R M B? Oh, I've pressed every letter button up here. And nothing has happened. So time to go to our old resourceful friend G -G -G Google. <laughs> RMB is right mouse button. I am so dumb. Can't believe this. Now, 
I was speaking to a bloke down the local watering hole, and he reckons you can use your rangs to take care of enemies and smash things. You ripper! You ripper! He said something now, wait a minute, he said something about pressing the throw button to use them. The LMB button. Guess what, guys? I'm pretty sure I know what that one means. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Take that. And you do. You do, son. I'm not good at the controls. I need a controller. That's for sure. Let's go that way, so let's go this way, guys. I really wish that it would let me rotate the camera as I'm running. Oh, it would no, make it feel a little smoother. Struth, what happened here? Boss Cass did this. He's caged all your bilby mates and hidden them across the land. Oh, yeah? Well, big mistake. No one messes with my mates. Now, there's a thunder egg in each area if you free them. No worries. Unless you're Boss Cass. Hmm. Okay. Is it gonna free them? Yeah. That one mouse guy. Oh, shoot. Come on, bro. You wanna fight? Why did it not? Yeah, you got too close, son. Too close to me. Mabagio. Boss. I don't know if it's true, but I heard about this bloke. I found hate three tutorials. Then took him to Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg. <laughs> right, eh? I'm just gonna obnoxiously quote them when they say something that's overly stereotypically Australian. So, uh, right, eh, mate? Right, eh? Cut scene again. Edgy kangaroos right here. Bet they listen to Green Day. in here. Can I jump on him? Oh, they're following me though. Yeah! Get all these good old... What are these? Seeds? Little energy balls? Energy walnuts?
take you over to the next. Hope my audio comes out good. I'm kind of mumbling. I'm a mumbler too. I'm, I suck at video games and I mumble. They're like the worst, worst conditions of being a game recorder, person, commentary, whatever you want to call this. So does this mean when I save, or like if I were to leave, I'll just show up at this outhouse too? Mostly me just this entire series should I continue it. It just could be me struggling with the WASD pad. Trying to get oh crap. I don't wanna die, it's my first playthrough. Or not it's my first recording. There yet? Let's try, let's try jumping up there. Oh boy. What's this? Yeah. I got a will. Whatever that means. Did he explain that already? Hmm. Julius? Julius? Yes. What's your name? This just might do. Get I Julius! Oh, get out, Ty. You know this golden cog just might be perfect for my latest invention. The Cogulaceous Boomerangerous Extrapolator. Right, what's that? Why, it's a machine that creates experimental techno rangs. I need golden cogs to build a new one. Fifteen, to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs, and I'll build you a new boomerang. You're on, mate. <laughs> okay, my daughter came in through that little cutscene, so I don't know what came on. It took everything of me to try to just get her to be quiet during it. You might have heard her whispering, what? What? Throughout it. <laughs> what? What you doing? What you need, baby? Huh? Brush your teeth? Yeah. Alright guys, I gotta go do some parent stuff, so this will be a good old time to stop right here. This has been a Groovy Kiwi production, I'm your average Ryan, you wanna sign out Marcy? Yeah. Say, this has been a Groovy Kiwi production. Mm -hmm. okay. No, 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 don't hold the microphone, just, just talk into it, talk right here. <laughs> Get off of it. Okay, alright, and that's it. We are...